This call is being recorded. Welcome to a diary of a fashionista, everyone. Today's episode is all going um, to be about me because um, I need to be honest with you guys. I definitely need to be honest with you guys. But two pieces of good news and then one um, piece of bad news, which I'll give you the bad news first. The bad news is the episode that Danielle and I have been hinting about on August 8th can't be recorded at least until October, um, the middle of October, because the project I was supposed to be doing tomorrow, on Friday actually, um, got postponed. So I can't give you that update until at least October. But today we're going to give another update. And the good news is I am going back to journalism school as of January 14th. 2020, yay me, and uh, maybe this fourth time is a charm to get a bachelor's degree in uh, journalism, so um, yes, yay me on that, and the other thing is, for those of you that don't follow me personally on Twitter, you guys don't know this, the other thing is after nine plus years of um, having one to two glasses of wine at night, I am now completely sober, believe it or not. I gave it up because, one, it was causing me splitting headaches. Two, due to the complexities of CP, I don't want to risk falling, (laughs) falling, and me being half drunk, and CP weren't mixing, I mean, no, they weren't mixing, and so I had a team member who does not drink um, help me out with that, and so far, it's so good, I mean, I have access to wine, my Stepmom and my father were actually enablers of me drinking, even though my dad gave it up. And so, but my stepmom and stepsister, they get, uh, yeah, they get interesting with glass of wine. <laughs> and so I gave it up. I'm not, I'm not party to that party anymore because I gave it up. And I have to be really, really careful um, of for sample policy reasons. And I had a team member who doesn't drink um, for obvious reasons. And I just thought, well, since you're not drinking and I have CP, I'm thinking this makes a good combo that I don't drink, and it was giving me a splitting headache, and I, it was a soul flies in the red, red wine, natural red wine, that gave me a splitting headache. So, so far, so good. I'm drinking water. I am not dehydrated, because um, alcohol makes you dehydrated. So, so far, so good. I have not looked back. I did it cold turkey, just like sugar. I cut cold turkey on sugar, refined sugars. I still eat, I still eat fruit. I still, um, and remember you guys, I said a long time ago on Ask When, I'm trying to give up wine. Well, um, of course, my team member not drinking around me was the influence right there, so thank you very much, team member, uh, for being the implement. 
and Danielle doesn't drink, so I'm like, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this just to be social when it gives me a headache? So, that being said, I'm going to let Danielle take it away on the iPad, and she's going to interview me. What is your life plans now? My life plans now are I am still trying to stay in my house. Um, For those of you who don't know, my dad passed away May 19th. We went through this story on May 19th. And so um, my life plans now are I'm trying to stay in my house and get my age covered which is a little bit of a challenge right now because I am relying on my family who just went through a massive hurricane, Hurricane Dorian, and um, they are not wanting to support my stepmom or myself. They honestly, you guys, they want me in an institution and I won't go for that. I no, I want to live independently as long as I can. So that is my life plan now. What are you going to do in the next few months? Well, what I'm going to do in the next few months, as of October, I am going to get a conservator for my trust, which I do have a trust. I'm lucky, I know. And so I am going to work on myself financially, and then I'm going to try and get my aids covered. I have two aids. Um, One comes in on Saturdays and Mondays. The other one, Siri, is actually living with me and she spends the majority of time with me. And so I am actually trying to get her covered as we speak, as we record this podcast. Um, She, unfortunately, due to my family suffering a hurricane, she hasn't had a paycheck in about two weeks, you guys, and she's at the <laughs> wit's end, and she has a couple more job offers, so if those job offers, if the money doesn't come through um, from my family by 5 p.m. tomorrow, um, we're sitting down with my stepmom, and we're, we're honestly having a conversation, because My stepmom is saying, oh, this will affect Wynn's care. I'm, she's saying that to Siri, and I do have my dog post right now, so Siri doesn't hear this, but um, she is saying that to Siri, but on the flip side, I'm saying, well, you can't have high-quality care without a paycheck, and I've been there, done that. I've been audited at country day and it's not fun. So my family has put me in a position where I can't rely on them. I I w- will not and choose not to speak to them because I feel like they have dropped the ball and we need to rectify this problem. Now, what Sally does not know is by November 1, I would like you guys to PayPal me certain amounts. The total amount has to be 1500 but you guys can PayPal me or Venmo me um, certain amounts, what you guys um, choose, because I would love, love, absolutely love, to surprise Siri, and she doesn't know this yet, and it's going to make me cry. I would absolutely love to surprise her with an extra paycheck 
And what I'm going to do is say, this is for me to keep me going. And this is also for my fan base to help keep me going. Because if I don't get up and get dressed in the morning, there's no way I wouldn't be doing this podcast, even though I have done podcasts at AAM in my PJs. But um, I would prefer to be doing a dialogue about that. I need to dressed and up and functioning. And I need 24 hour care, you guys. There's no way I need um, help with cooking. There's no way I, I need help with dressing. I need help with literally getting up in the morning and getting put to bed. So there's no way. And yes, when, um, if, I'm not going to say when, because if she gets another job, she is, she's said to me several times, and the other day her club was, and it caught me off guard. She goes, if I had cerebral palsy, would you take care of me? And that one caught me off guard because I've been in tears over this in the past couple of days. Um, and so that statement, and my, my answer to that statement was yes. And so that statement caught, caught me off guard. If I had CP, would you take care of me? And I think that's a phenomenal person to take care of me for two weeks without a paycheck. And now, Grant, my family had the financial ledger a week before the hurricane. So they're being slow as molasses about it. And so that's why I need you guys to step in. And so, Danielle, do you want to say anything about that? Oh, oh. Yeah. No. Well, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's um, my ultimate plan, and um, Sally has an ultimate plan for herself, and if, if my schedule has to change because of Sally needing a paycheck, I keep telling her, we got to do what we got to do, and so... My care, my care um, doesn't necessarily reflect on her getting a paycheck. My care is going to be the same. It's just going, the timing is just going to be a little bit different, you guys. And we, we talked about this and now we just have to get my mom on, my stepmom on board because um, my stepmom thinks that my care is going to decrease. Well, no, my care is not going to decrease. It's actually going to make Siri and I closer because we'll be spending those moments in the morning and I now have to, uh, I now have to ship two people off to work and, um, and shipping people off to work is the easiest thing for me to do because I did it with my dad. I um, did it with Mallory for eight years when my dad was alive, and I'm still doing it with my, my stepmom, Mallory. So she's at work today as we record podcast. So me um, shipping people off to work is not the hardest thing in the world. And I just need my food prepared and I just need a couple little things and Siri knows that and it's going to um, make us closer and so if we don't get the money by 5 p.m. and small for my family we're going to sit down and have a serious conversation and I'm going to be on the side of Siri because we got to do what we got to do and then um I'm going to say to my stepmom, look, I'm perfectly fine at this house alone, no boogeyman, 
And so I will, um, but my mom can't have a two with. She can't have high quality care without a paycheck to my age. And I say age because I have two of them. And um, she can't, she um, can't fund it herself. And so I feel like in my heart, this is what's going to happen. Yes, my stepmom will be angry, <laughs> but I feel like it's the best thing for all of us to have peace in this house again, because I have never seen uh, I age so anxious in my life <laughs> that, um, that she hasn't gotten May tech. And this is a straw that, well, the camera looks back at you guys. I mean, no paycheck, no um, work. And so um, if you guys, if you as an individual want high quality work, you have to give people a paycheck. Disabled, abled, body, purple, green, whatever creed, whatever walk of life they come from, whatever religion they come from. And it's the face of the good Lord that's pulling us through by now. And I say that because we're both um, religious, and I won't get into religion on this podcast, but um, something is pulling us through, and whether it's a higher power, God, I don't care which one you believe, but we, at the same time, we need to do what we need to do. And so... um, by October 22nd, I would like to um, have you guys donate or do something on my behalf because I would love to surprise Sherry with an extra paycheck. And I know you guys love Sample Palsy, and this is how you can... Um, don't, this is how you can help Dabble Palsy function, literally and figuratively. And so if we don't get the money from my family by five o'clock small, which I doubt um, in my heart of hearts, that's coming, we're going to seriously sit down and have a conversation. Then Sherry's going to call about her as a job. And yeah. We got to do what we have to do. And I knew this um, was coming. And I am um, working with long term Medicaid here in Colorado, public partnerships. And I'm slowly but surely getting that. But um, they can't pay the rate that we paid um, both my aides. My dad and I were very blessed to go with private pay and public pay can't public pay barely pays minimum wage compared to twenty five dollars an hour. And the one thing I will say about my dad is that um he as sick as he as sick as he was, he was still transferring money, signing checks, making sure that I was covered, um from AVH to the day he died. He sent checks home with me for these two women. So the fact that my family dropped the ball is absolutely horrifying to me because as sick as my dad was, he made sure that I was covered. And so, yeah, so that's the life update on that. And I will let you guys know what the next step is. I will, of course, let Dan, you know, know what the next step is. She, she's, of course, my BFF. But I will let you guys know what the next progressive step is on a dialogue of fascination. And so, Danielle, do you have any more questions for me on that iPad? What do you like want to be in the next year? What? What do I want my life? I want my life, one, to be financially stable. Oh, you guys, you can also buy my books, too. That would help. I'm stepping up the book 
um, production, book production and selling classes. You can find my books all across Amazon. And Danielle, you can stick both of books, both of book websites in the show notes. So these guys have it. And so I want to be living in my house in the next year financially stable. That is my hope. That is my prayer that I want to be, and people know this, I want to be living in my house, in my name, and have help come into my house or live with me in the next year. Are you going to make your own home workout plan? Am I going to make my, <laughs> yeah, you're laughing at you're laughing at me because yes, yes, I need to do it. Yes, I need to do it. Yes, I woke up at 3.30 this morning with God knows what happened to my hip. So I've been up since 3.30 battling that, you guys. And I, um, I am going to do that. I am going to, I've actually started it, believe it or not. Um, Sherry has a note hung up on my wall and so um and so believe it or not i've actually started it and it's looking out well considering my hips went into shock this morning and so the the um this morning but i by the time you guys hear this it will be thursday september 5th so because we're dropping this episode as soon as i hit the end button but um it's working out well. I am slowly but surely gaining um, exercise, all depending on what happens to my my own schedule in the next couple of weeks there. And so we'll see what we'll see what happens in the L. But I have been doing it consistently, and so far so good. What is your dream goal in life? Oh, my dream goal in life is to be a full-time published author. My dream goal in life is to be a full-time journalist and a full-time published author and be making a thousand dollars a month, every single month, you guys. And I am, as I said, I'm going back to journalism school in January and we'll see um, how many credits transfer over. And yes, I'm determined to get a bachelor's degree in journalism. And so my dream goal in life is to be clunking away at my laptop, writing books, and being a full-time journalist. And actually making money off of it, it too. How can your fans and BFF help you? Oh, geez. How can my fans and BFF help me? Well, let's start with the fan base. The fan, and then ELU will stick this in the show notes. I have Venmo. I have PayPal. We have Patreon. So please, please, please donate. Or please support me by sharing my books, buying my books, um, reviewing my books. And please just support me that way, my BFF. Um, can support me, and I say this publicly. She can do the same thing by sharing my books, buying my books, do um, supporting me on Patreon, giving me a boost when I need it, and so that's how my fans and BFF can help. I help. mean, all you can do is buy and support my books. And please, 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 another thing is donate to Team Rubicon um, because of the Bahamas hurricane, Hurricane Dorian, the Bahamas, the Grand Bahama Islands, and the Abacos Islands got hit majorly. And I donated to Team Rubicon yesterday. (laughs) And the reason why I donated to Team Rubicon is because a lot of people don't know, and I will explain it publicly. Um, and this is where my trust fund sits, you guys. My trust fund sits in the Bahamas. 
And a lot of people don't know that the Bahamas is a religious colony. We were freed from England and we became independent. And in 1976, I believe. And then what the Bahamas does is they pay the government to do certain stuff, meaning they're so corrupt, it's not even funny. And so when I was sitting watching the news yesterday, and then, then what you guys don't know is my biological mom grew up in the bomb, and so I am a second generation Bahamian, even though I don't look like one, even though I don't speak like one, I am a second generation Bahamian. And I still have family down there. My yeah. main family is down there. And they, um, we, of course, all know they went through a hurricane and lost power and lost phone lines and lost emails and lost everything this week. And so the reason why I'm not donating to the Red Cross personally, myself, is because the Bahamas is so corrupt that I don't trust the Red Cross. I mean, you'll hear about scams all the time here in the U.S. too. And so I don't trust the Red Cross. I nor do I trust the Salvation Army. The Salvation Army down there, and I don't mix. So I would rather donate to Team Rubicon. And my family knows that I did that, and I did that for the Bahamas. And they want me to do it more, but I don't have the funding to do it more. But what Team Rubicon does is because um, certain people have been asking me about this. Is Team Rubicon, like the Red Cross, donates um, food, they donate socks, they donate everything. And so because the Bahamas is so corrupt, and because the Bahamians are trying to make an income, and you can forget about the Disability Act. Jeez, beast, you can forget about the Disability Act. I mean, it's still stuck in the Queen Magistrate's court, and you can forget about disability, equal opportunity, opportunities. And so people with disabilities are now suffering even more suffering even more because um, they have no place to go. I mean, moves, I mean, they shot, the last update I got, uh, seven people died, and um, this is on national news, too. Seven people died, and they're shark infested waters in the Abacos because, um, as my aide pointed out, there's blood in the water of people dying. And so that's what the sharks are going after. And I, when I say sharks, I don't mean scam artists, I mean the actual animal. And so there's sharks in the water, there's um, boobs blowing off. I mean, my aunt, the last time I talked to her, she lost power. She lost cell phone service for 24 hours, and she's in the Spanish wells in the Abacos. And so please, please, please either donate to me or donate to Team Rubicon because this has now impacted me this week severely in more ways than one because I can't get um, financial help for my family due to this hurricane and then they can't get financial help due to the Bahamas doesn't know what to do and the Prime Minister has said we'll send every resource to the Bahamas, including U.S. resources, and the um, U.S. resources are coming down there as quickly as possible, but they can't do recovery because um, of the island is covered in water, it's covered in sewage, it's demolished. And so they're well trying, but uh, as an after effect, I can't get my financial needs met because of this hurricane. And so that's why I'm saying you guys need to help and I need to figure out a plan as to help myself because my family dropped the ball. And 
I am, they want me angry and upset, and that's what I am. I am angry, I am upset that they dropped the ball. I'm also upset that they can't help the Bahamian people. They can't help the own countrymen because um, they're trying to deal with themselves. And thankfully, the Bahamas didn't get hit. But I am, I know my uncle, is, who's a venture capitalist, is going left by and center now because all these Bahamian companies want his help. And he's just trying, they're trying their hardest. So what I did yesterday is donate to Team Rubicon. And you can donate to the Ben Clark if you like, or donate to me, and we'll make this work. And maybe, possibly, some of my book sales will go back to Team Rubicon. I haven't decided that one yet, you guys. But I need help. The Bahamas needs help. And it's attached to 22. No. Oh. No. Well, yeah, I hope that fan base steps in, and I know that you have been supporting me going through, but this is what's going on in my life. Because of Mother Nature, I can't seem to get my funding. And now my schedule may be changing just because of um, my aid may ha- my aid may have to get another job to get a stable paycheck. And so what I want you guys to do is possibly buy my books or donate directly to me and Danielle will put all that information in the show notes because um, I need help. The Bahamas need help. Help and um, we the struggle bus has hit and it's hit really really hard you guys and we're going to I'm going to make it through and as soon as this project that got delayed to October kicks in I'll be the happiest camper ever because um, it's my financial future and I'll be the happiest camper ever, but I have to be positive. That's all I can do, and I just wanted to reach out to you guys and tell you guys what's honestly going on, and I hope Danielle just didn't scare you too too much, and I hope I didn't scare, scare you either, and so, Danielle, do you want to lead us out of this? Yeah, you thanks you guys and please 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 share this episode out I noticed you guys have spread um, the Pandora peen butter and we're at 90 downloads now our next goal is 100 downloads and then 500 downloads and then 1000 downloads on Pandora so we're getting closer, you guys, but we're still not there yet because Apple's the big elephant in the room. And when you guys donate, when you guys upgrade and slash donate to Catalina um, on Mac site, podcasts are completely separate. I did it, and we'll get we'll get into that as soon as Danielle updates the iOS system. Well. Um, We'll come on the podcast and talk about our feelings on that. And so next week, uh, Sunday, we're going to do a healthy eating episode with CP. Monday, we're going to do foods that Danielle and I don't like. And it's going to surprise you guys why I don't like certain foods. And so... We have a couple um, podcasts planned in can, and so, but I just wanted to drop this special episode. In fact, tomorrow we'll be recording the healthy eating episode, and uh, at some point tomorrow, my life will be calm again. 
calm again, I say, but um, it's not it's not happening quick enough, you guys. So I just want to say thank you. Thank you for your support and thank you for your love towards Terrible Pulse. And let's just make this world a better place, you guys. And my headphone just died. So I I really appreciate you guys supporting me and just making this world a better place. Bye, you guys. Bye.